Hello and thank you for joining VMware Data Center Design. My name is Asif Maruf and I'm the instructor for this course. Today we'll be looking at VMware Lifecycle. VMware provides a number of deployment options to uh, deploy a virtual machine and add it to the virtual infrastructure. Some of the options include deploying a virtual machine from scratch and adding the operating system and virtual machine tools cloning a virtual machine from an existing virtual machine, using a template to deploy a virtual machine, converting a physical server to virtual machine using P2E, and deploying from OVF, which is open virtual format. A virtual machine lifecycle typically begins with selecting the virtual machine configuration, which is usually based on the application workload and, and standard setup by the enterprise. The virtual machine is deployed and usually followed with post deployment configuration changes. The virtual machine is then introduced into the environment to run application workloads. During this time, there may be upgrades, configuration changes, including changes to disk, memory, CPU. And once the virtual machine is no longer useful, it's reached end of life, it can be de decommissioned and its resources reused. The virtual machine lifecycle is typically comprised of three main stages, the deploy, operations, and end of life. For deploy, we looked at some of the deployment options in the earlier slide, and the vSphere client GUI allows customization, including options and resources to manage all those deployment options. In the operation stage, once the virtual machine is running actively and it's executing application workloads. The CPU, memory, disk, network, and storage resources can be monitored. Those data statistics collected in conjunction with vCenter server and VI client. Once the virtual machine reaches end of life, the vSphere client can be used to remove it from inventory and decommission its resources. A quick summary of this video. We looked at virtual machine lifecycle from deployment, configuration, operations, and decommissioning stage. We looked at virtual machine deployment options, including new, creating from template, clone, converting physical to virtual, and OVF. And finally, reuse of infrastructure services once the virtual machine is decommissioned. Typically, the CPU and memory are returned back to the resource pool, however, uh, a disk may be reused depending on the use case and requirement. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for further videos in this series.